Hello everyone, it is Selma Dewani with The Blue Brain Teacher. I wanted to jump on really quick to show you how you can create your Google Classroom super fast and super easy to use with the slides that I showed you, or that I'm sharing on my blog post. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to classroom.google.com. And then once you're there, you're going to have the option of, let me just go there and see if it allows me to, to show you. Once you're there, there is this plus, and in the upper right hand corner, you're going to click it and you're going to create class. And once you have read everything, make sure that um, you agree to the terms of use and then you create your class name here. Now I've already done it. I've created a test class to share with you. So once you do that, in order to use the slides with your students, it's super easy. And that's what I wanted to show you. So here in the top or in the top left hand corner, you're going to get a class code. And this is how people are going to how students or parents are going to join your Google Classroom. So this is very important to share with your parents. And then they will have access to this uh, class. So once you do that and you want to start sharing the slides that I've created for you, um, you're going to hit classwork. You're going to hit create and choose assignments. And then um, you have the option of giving it a title and I'm going to call this day six but you know, you would do each day that you have. So you'd start with day one or day six and you can, you can do this however you want. And then if you want to write instructions, you can, um, since this is for kindergarten, I would, I wouldn't grade it. So I would do ungraded and I would have no, um, if you want to make a due date, you can, but I'd suggest in this time to just ignore that. And I wouldn't put a topic and I wouldn't, um, use a rubric make sure that you select all students here and then you'll just add from Google Drive your um, document and then here you would choose all your students you would have a make a copy for each student that way they're all working on their own copy um, now this makes it more difficult for you if you want to go in because um, you're gonna have to go into each student's slide to see their work after but um, this makes it super easy for them. They're gonna go in, they're gonna work in on their own slide. Um, the only um, time intensive thing for you is once they click that they're done with it, that you would go in and you would look at their work that way. So um, this is gonna work whether they're using a computer, a tablet or an iPhone, as long as they have um, the, the Google Slides app on their phone um, and I think it's going to be a great way to keep a connection with your students while they're at home um, during this time and if you want to use this in conjunction with Seesaw it's very it, it works together very well so um, I think that's it for now that's all I have to tell you for now but if you have any questions um, go ahead and message me. Um, my email is thebluebrainteacher at gmail.com um, or you can direct message me on any of my social media or even just leave a uh, comment at the end of this blog post. I want to thank you all for everything that you're doing to uh, keep, keep it together during this tough time and uh, believe me, I appreciate you all so much. We need educators like you in our schools. So I'm really happy to be um, helping you during this time.